Good afternoon, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Wednesday, the 15th of June, 2022 at 1.53, 1.53 p.m. here in Australia. Wow. Okay. Basically, I've just been doing a study this morning. Um, I'm sort of on the fence. I keep swapping my studies from thinking there's one rapture and that we all go up together and then it sort of changes to go to there's a rapture for the bride and then there's another rapture for the guests and through my study this morning um, I pretty much come to the conclusion excuse the soaring in the background I can't help it at the time I've got um, I've come to the conclusion that there is two raptures okay there's one for the bride which is the one the five wise virgins who are ready their bags packs they're looking for Jesus to appear and then there's the one for the guests, okay, the lukewarm believers, okay, so let's just read over this quickly. I'm sorry I'm talking fast, but I've only got a little bit of time. So, as in the days of Noah, so all shall also be the coming of the Son of Man be, okay, so we know that as in the days of Noah, the coming of the Son of Man is going to be exactly like the days of Noah. For before the flood, they were eating and drinking and married. So before the flood, before the tribulation, okay? They were eating, drinking and marrying, carrying on as normal and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So Noah gets into his boat, the door shuts. For seven days, they're still partying, drinking, marrying, whatever. And um, they didn't even know. And then seven days later, drip, 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 here comes the flood and took them all away, okay? <clears throat> This is exactly, it represents us. We go up a certain time before the bride who are ready, who are looking, like Hebrews 9.28 says, those who are looking for Jesus, he will appear a second time unto them. Okay, <clears throat> so like I said, for seven days they were partying and continuing on. And, um, so, and also, as in the days of Lot, <clears throat> the same day Lot came out of Sodom and Gomorrah, it rained fire and brimstone. But remember, Lot was hesitant at first, and the angels literally had to grab their hands and yank them and run out. Okay, brothers and sisters, but Lot had to come out of her before it could be uh, before destruction. Right? Then we've got at midnight a cry was heard: "Behold, the bridegroom cometh." Go out to meet him. And while the foolish went off to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him and the marriage door was shut. Okay, <clears throat> this is the same thing. The, the five wise and the five foolish, they both love the Lord, but the foolish ones were lukewarm. They weren't ready. Okay, and they are about to go into some um, purification, some refining um basically father god has to get them ready for eternity okay they weren't ready they didn't have their bags packed they weren't looking for jesus they didn't believe in the blessed hope this video is a cry to you if you are sitting on the fence about a pre-trib a pre uh wrath rapture don't anymore you have to be looking you have to be watching blessed are those who watch and if you don't watch i will come on you like a thief in the night please brothers and sisters if you're hesitant about the deliverance about the blessed hope believe it you've got to believe it if you don't believe it you won't receive it i promise you that okay then jesus says um <clears throat> in revelation 3 20 behold i stand at the door and knock and then in chapter 4 he says behold a door was opened in heaven a voice like a trumpet which is like the trump of god right he speaks in diverse manners just like he is in diverse manners he says come up hither immediately i was in the spirit okay luke 20 19 to 27 it was the first day of the week at evening all the disciples and jesus were there except for thomas and the door was shut why wasn't thomas there because he was a doubter brothers and sisters and then it goes on to say eight days later the disciples and thomas was there and jesus in the midst and the doors were shut <clears throat> there's two there's two openings of the door two closings of the door <clears throat> Okay, so that this it proves that Thomas was the doubter. He was the one that had to see the holes in Jesus' hands. Okay, <clears throat> so it is so important. Please go and read that. Please go and read that in Luke 20 when it talks about um, when Thomas came in and Jesus tells him, Thomas, you believe because you can see, but how much more blessed are those who haven't seen and still believe? That's what this is all about brothers and sisters is belief and faith through your faith and your works it'll save you brothers and sisters mainly on the account of your faith 
That's what saved Abraham and Isaac and Moses and everybody, brothers and sisters, throughout the whole gospel, Old, New, Old Testament and New. Okay, so another one. And then shall be two in the field. One is taken, the other left. Two women grinding at the mill. One is taken, one, the other one left. This, when you're grinding at the mill or working in the field, it's still normal days, brothers and sisters. This is referencing the rapture of the bride, the snatching away of the bride who is ready to go. Okay? And the reason, and then um, it's only written in Matthew and Luke. Mark doesn't even include these verses of two will be in the field, one taken, one left. But in Luke, it says, I tell you, that night, that night, there shall be two men, and it's strange that it says two men in the book of Luke. Now, the book of Luke is for us, and, you know, homosexuality, Pride Month, everything that's going on, it's interesting that it says two men will be in the bed, okay? That's at midnight. Two women will be grinding at the mill. That's at dusk, at evening, right? And two men will be in the field. That is at dawn, when the cock crows. It's literally giving you three time zones, it's going to happen like that wherever we are, whether we're sleeping, working, or it's in the afternoon, okay? These are obviously normal days. The rapture of the bride, the wise virgins, Jesus will appear a second time unto those that look for him, okay? So once the rapture of the bride has happened, okay, once the rapture of the bride has happened, there shall be a peace and safety declared, brothers and sisters. This is where it's going to come from. Think of it. When... Are we ever going to get peace and safety really while we're still here? We're not. It's never going to be declared, brothers and sisters. It is when us, the hardcore Christians, the hardcore believing, rapture believing Christians, when we are gone, okay? Think about this, how happy the world will be once more when the hardcore Christians have left. There's no more lectures about Jesus, no one condemning their sins, etc. Even the lukewarm left behind Christians will be happy that we're gone. Use the way the people acted when the two witnesses lie dead in the street for three days as an example. The whole world rejoiced and made merry and sent gifts to one another. This is exactly what it will be like in the days of Noah. But instead of eating, drinking and getting married, they will be rejoicing and celebrating the peace on earth. Okay, The peace from us trying to save their souls and tell them about this beautiful gift. We're gone. No more nagging. They're going to be happy. This will be the peace and safety before sudden destruction. Okay, and Father God, put on my heart, okay, there's going to be a period of peace as there is, um, so there is enough time for loved ones to be saved and to watch our videos and stuff like that. Because a lot of our loved ones do, don't watch our videos, right? They don't look at our notes. They have no idea, really. So I believe the, the fact that there's going to be two in the bed, one taken, one left, there's going to be no EMP or no disruption to power. It's going to be secret. And the reason is that the internet and power must still be here for a short time so that our loved ones can download, save, and look into what we've been trying to warn them about. Okay. So Father God has put this on my heart that you need to go and get all your videos, your notes, everything organized in an easy manner for them to understand and comprehend what's going on here. Okay, because when we're gone, they're going to be frantic and they're going to know exactly what it is because we've been harping on about it for ages and they're going to come straight to our notes, straight to our videos. So Father God has impressed me in my heart. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking and talking so fast. I'm just, the time is so short. You must do this right now. You must uh, organize your videos in an easy thing. Organize your notes. Um, write a little left behind thing very easily share this message with with them okay so basically just please make everything accessible for those that are left behind because then it's going to be scary and terrifying and this is going to be the first place they're going to look brothers and sisters okay so when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction happens okay when the, they think the peace on the world yes the dust is settled yes there's going to be people here and there they go oh no oh no and they carry on and whatever but even the lukewarm christians brothers and sisters like i said they're going to be happy that we're not there making them feel bad you know what i'm saying and it's because it's so quick and so, you know, instant 
they're gonna the news and the, the politicians and the media they're gonna make up they've got something already it's gonna be the alien thing it's gonna be something but don't believe it the people that are gone are be are taken to heaven brothers and sisters if you're watching this after the rapture rapture has happened we have gone to heaven and we are safely there now this is the good news okay so when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction happens um it'll like a snare it'll come upon the whole world brothers and sisters okay like a snare so this cannot be the same thing you cannot have people eating and drinking getting married whatever and um and then you know they're safe in in the ark with the door shut and they carry on for another seven days it's not the same thing brothers and sisters there is a rapture for the bride and a rapture for the guests now listen to this okay um it shall come like a snare okay this is when the pale green horse happens we um we've gone the beginning of sorrows and the first three horsemen are the same thing we're going through them they are the tribulation of those days we're going through them right now you know we've got the the white the white horse which was the toxic corona and being deceived um the peace uh, the red horse taking peace from the earth and wars and people killing each other look at look what's happened with the massacres it's really ramping up brothers and sisters with the wars it's all there the nations against nations kingdom against kingdom like i said heaven and hell since the days of john the baptist the violent have been trying to take heaven by force okay they are waiting waiting to attack on god's time and they're going to have that war in heaven which is when satan gets cast down it's the pale green horse okay and then a time of trouble like nothing is and nothing ever before or nothing like it again will happen okay then the heavens will recede like a scroll okay the lukewarm christians will see all this brothers and sisters the seal six things will happen the earthquake the sun the moon the stars okay and now what's going to happen all the elites and stuff are going to run to their caves okay the underground caves and whatnot but the devil shall cast some of you into prison for 10 days brothers and sisters this is the 10 days of tribulation it says he's going to throw you into prison for 10 days of tribulation be faithful unto death and you will receive your crown of life okay it's the 10 days of awe it's all about the book of life and the book of death being opened you have 10 days of season of repentance this is the time where you really need to be refined and purified and and it may cost you your life brothers and sisters but be faithful unto death and you will receive that crown and join us in eternity forever and ever okay so whoo brothers and sisters there is a rapture for the bride which is going to happen imminently we have to because all we get in luke is when you see the army surrounding jerusalem and then it says when you see these things begin to happen then you know the kingdom of heaven is near okay you know your redemption is near okay and in luke 12 36 when i return from the wedding brothers and sisters when he returns from the wedding he's already married and I knock, be ready to open the door immediately. When he comes back 10 days later, after that 10 days of tribulation in prison that Satan's going to put you through if you're left behind, be ready immediately. Immediately when he knocks, be ready to go. And that is the multitude rapture, brothers and sisters, in Revelation 7 9. The one that no man could count. The dead in Christ rise first, and those who are alive and remain. That's why it makes sense why it says alive and remain. There's not going to be many people alive, brothers and sisters, because now you're going to have to give your life for Jesus Christ, your belief in him. Now you must give your life. Right now, he gave his life for us, and we are cleansed and washed in his blood and saved by that. Get on the train now. Get on the flight now. It's a free gift, brothers and sisters. I want to shake everybody in the entire world. We are running out of time. The rapture of the bride is imminent, brothers and sisters. The rapture of the bride is imminent. You do not want to go and be a guest, a lukewarm believer. You don't want to be a Thomas and get locked out and the door shut. They both love the Lord. Both the five wise and the five foolish, they both love the Lord, brothers and sisters. Please remember that. Again, I stress Hebrews 9.28, Jesus will appear a second time unto those that are looking for him. And he says in Revelation 3, 
that um, therefore, because you did not watch, I will come on you like a thief in the night. You must repent. Repent means to turn away from evil, right? And watch. Look for him. Wait for him. Be as like Passover with, you know, our, our loins girded, our sandals on, a staff in our hand. We eat in haste and we're ready to go when Father God sends his son to snatch us away. Okay, in the middle of the night, in the evening, and when the cock crows in the morning. This planetary alignment on the right side of the sun, all five, it's actually seven, but we can only see five. Okay, they're all on the right side of the sun. It's a beautiful alignment. Just like the 153 fish, just like I said when this video started, at 153, praise you, Father God. Um, you know, that's the 15th day of the third month. And they were, the net was brought up on the right side. Not A net was broken. There were so many fish. Okay, and it says in Revelation here. It says here. Um, in Revelation 5. In Revelation 5, 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odours, which are the prayers of the saint. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for those has for those was slain and has redeemed us. Redeemed. It's it's past tense, brothers and sisters. He has redeemed us to God by his blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Okay? And then when you hear about the um uh the uh the left behind that have to go through ten days of great tribulation. When you get the multitude rapture, which is where you will be, if you're left behind, you're going to go in the multitude rapture in Revelation 7, 9. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations, kindred, people, tongues, stood before the throne, for the lamb clothed with white robes, palms in their hands. Going down further, sir, who are these? These are they that came out of great tribulation. Okay, and they've washed their robes. They washed their robes, brothers and sisters. Right now, Jesus Christ washes our robes, but they have to wash their robes with their, with Jesus Christ's blood in, with their own life. Do you understand? And um, it says that, um, therefore, they are before the throne of God, and they shall hunger no more, neither thirst no more, uh, neither shall any light go on them. That's from the... Um, that's from the great tribulation that they've gone through. Okay, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be tired. They're going to be running for their lives. It's going to be a time like never before, brothers and sisters. Satan has to be cast down. Okay, he has to be cast down. This has to be a witness to everything, including the lukewarm Christians, the Jews and the world. Okay, once he's cast down, brothers and sisters, then he, um, he will go into the man of sin, Obama changing him into the son of perdition and and basically it goes on from there but basically the son of perdition will go to devour the woman the church who's just about to to deliver the man child which is us because we are going to rule and reign with a rod of iron with yeshua right he's about she's about to deliver the man child who is about to get caught up to the throne of god so he goes to devour the child and the woman with the flood right and the earth opens her mouth which is the earthquake and seal six swallows the water brothers and sisters <clears throat> okay and then the child is caught up to god okay this is amazing amazing but what i want to stress to you is that there's two raptures be ready for the first ride out of here brothers and sisters the five wise virgins we must be ready we must believe i stress and stress and stress please from the bottom of my heart for all of you out there who are sitting on the fence about the rapture about a pre-trib rapture whatever it may be it's pre-trib it's pre-wrath it's pre it's 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 trust that's what it is it's trust and belief in god's word and his promises he told us about the blessed hope he told us to encourage each other with these things you cannot encourage each other with the, a time like never ever before so horrible and so disgusting and so evil that even men's hearts will faint with fear because of what's coming on this earth
You are not going to be encouraging each other for that. You, we are encouraging each other for the greatest gift next to Yeshua, Jesus Christ, dying for us himself. Okay, please accept it and receive it. Confess it out loud. Say, yes, yes, Father God, I thank you for your son, what he did for me on the cross, dying for me on the cross and, and, and for, for my sins and everybody's sins. And I thank you that you have this wonderful promise where you've been preparing places for us for the last 2,000 years. His son has been preparing places on his father's house for 2,000 years. Heaven and earth will pass away, brothers and sisters. So this is a temporary dwelling, a temporary ark where we are to go to be kept safe. First the bride, then the guest. When, when he returns from the wedding, be sure that you open up immediately when he knocks. So I just I want to leave you with that. Just know, go over it again, but it's very plain. It's very simple to see that um, that's why you are to be ready. That is exactly why you are to be ready. But just to give you some insight that if um, you're still here after the rapture has happened, there'll be 10 days, 10 days, right? And the world's going to see it as peace and safety, but you're going to know because of your loved ones and of their nagging and, you know, they're trying so hard to let you know what's going to happen and how easy it is to get out of it and to be free. And to have eternity forever and not be separated with God. But if you are here, brothers and sisters, then please give your everything, including your life. Be willing. For, forsake everything. And just... And the first thing, too, is get out of the cities. That is of utmost importance. Okay? In Matthew and Mark, it says, When you see the abomination of desolation, flee to the mountains. <clears throat> Um, but in Luke, it says, when you see the army surrounding Jerusalem, you know the desolation thereof is nigh. That's the abomination. That's Satan being cast down. That's the image of the beast. That's a new world order system. Okay? But it says, um, and those in the country, get out of the country. And if you're not in the country, don't come into the country. Okay? And then it says to flee. So it's very important that you leave the cities immediately. So I'm going to leave it at that. God bless you. I love you. Look to the skies tonight, brothers and sisters. Like I said, it's either going to happen at, um, you know, in the evening, at midnight, or when the cock crows in the morning, so at dawn. Okay, this is incredible. This is wonderful. This is amazing. If you have a look at my last little video that I put up on YouTube, um, I was talking about the sign of Jonah. is actually a constellation in the sky. It's called Cetus, so C-E-T-U-S. And it is the largest constellation in the sky. It's going to be right in the middle of that five planet alignment. Like, I am not kidding you. The sign of Jonah. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's Father God's going to hold this a mystery to the very last second. But we're getting there, brothers and sisters. We're working together. We're getting there. We're just going to keep our minds and our hearts and our souls on the skies and on our Father God and on our loving Saviour, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. So, as I say in every single video, if I don't see you in the next video, I will see you in the skies. Love you. God bless.